be your guide. Folks, just a few safety reminders for you. Please remain seated throughout the entire duration of this three hour tour. Keeping those hands, arms, and shoulders, knees, and toes inside the boat at all times. Now, if you folks can hear me, can I get a big thumbs up from the front to the back of the boat? Excellent. I see many thumbs up there. Now, folks, you may not know it, but you are on just about the fastest boat here at Legoland, California. Folks, we are blasting out of here in three, two, one. Wow. Can you feel that throttle? This baby comes out at a whopping 2.65 miles an hour. Hold on to your children, folks. One thing I forgot to mention, there are seatbelts underneath your seat. You gotta put them on right now, folks. Just kidding, you guys. There's no seatbelts on this boat ride. <laughs> but now that I have your attention, we can begin our tour. Folks, this year we are celebrating Legoland California's 20th birthday. And here on Coast Cruise, we are having a party that you all are invited to. Up ahead, we have Rocky the Water Buffalo. He's also invited to the party. Now, let me tell you a bit about him. He weighs 350 pounds, and believe it or not, he is made up of 310,000 Lego bricks. Do you folks know what Rocky said to his son this morning before he left for the party? Bye, son. <laughs> Moving on to your right, we have Bob and Gertrude, our proud mama and papa tortoises. Folks, we all know the tortoises can be a bit slow, but this happy couple have been waiting for those eggs of theirs to hatch for the past 20 years. They're due any day now, folks, any day. Up ahead, we have Bronte, our red dinosaur, on the left. He is made up of 630,000 Lego bricks, along with Lazy Bee, our lazy green dragon on the right, made up of 253,000 Lego bricks. Now, folks, I don't know about you, but I sure hope those two remember to throw their water off this time around so when to dampen that party spirit. Oh, Not to oh, worry, you guys. The only way to get wet on this boat ride is if the person next to you decides to throw you overboard. <laughs> Alrighty, my friends, we now approach the African coast. How we got here so fast is still a mystery to me, but everyone, please wave hello to Elsie, our African elephant. Elsie's a big girl. She stands seven feet tall and is made of 282,000 Lego bricks. Now, Elsie is very excited to be going to the party today. She told me just this morning that she is bringing a trunk full of presents. Uh oh, folks, looks like just around the corner, Steve, our Lego friend, could use a hand up here. Not to worry, you guys. Steve has been holding on since 1999. I don't think he's going to let go anytime soon, though. Let go? All right, you guys, as we see behind, we now begin our world tour. That's right, folks, it's our world tour. Now, you may have heard of going around the world in 80 days. Well, let me tell you, folks, we are about to go around the world in less than eight minutes. Are you ready? Yes. Wow. Loving this enthusiasm here, folks. I said, are you ready? Yes! Yeah. We begin right here in London, England. We have our Big Ben and London Eye models. So oh, these two nice. models come to the grand total of 300,000 Lego bricks. Fun fact about our Big Ben Tower. The clock up there actually works. And the time on it is accurate more than twice a day. It's a good thing too because they're always working around the clock. <laughs> <laughs> Directly in front of us we have our Lion Gate Bridge. Folks, it is named after a real bridge in Vancouver, British Columbia. Oh now each one of those three large lions up there is made up of 17,000 Lego bricks. That's right folks. 17,000 each. I'm not lying. Now, it may be called the Lion's Gate Bridge, but let's be real here, you guys. I like to call it by another name. I like to call it the Waffle Bridge. Why? Well, it looks like a giant waffle underneath. If you didn't get that last joke, I guess that one just went over your head. 
next stop on this world tour is India. We are here to that see like the Taj Mahal. Now, folks, the real Taj Mahal was built in the 17th century and took over 20,000 people 22 years to build. Our version doesn't quite take that long, but it is made up of 143,000 Lego bricks. Yeah, it's really neat. Now, folks, you may call it the Taj Mahal, but here at Legoland, California, we like to call it the Taj Mahal. Bless you, bless you. We leave India behind and we travel now to Paris, France, the city of lights to see the Eiffel Tower. Now, folks, the real Eiffel Tower was built in the year 1889, designed by a man named Gustav Eiffel. Our version here at Legoland, California, is just a bit smaller than the original. It stands at the height of 17 feet and is made up of 117,000 Lego bricks. Now, folks, I have never been to the top, but rumor has it that the view from there is quite the Eiffel. portion of this tour. So we travel now back to the beautiful United States of America. First stop in the USA is no. Mount Rushmore. And who is here to welcome us but everyone's favorite four American presidents? We have George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Bringing us to the grand total of 230,000 Lego bricks. What's the matter, George? Face them. <laughs> what? Come on, dog. Don't you have a backbone? Obviously, you do. Those people are listening. Quit picking on George. Oh, come on, Lincoln. Where's your sense of humor? It's been four score and seven years since you said something funny, Teddy. And it'll be seven score and four years until you do again. Just ignore them, George. What? We leave our Lego presidents behind, and we now come to our sprawling view of Miniland, USA. We have many cities here in Miniland, USA, including San Francisco, seen on your left, New York City, directly in front of us, and Las Vegas, just beyond that. We also have Star Wars Miniland off to the far left, which includes our very own Lego Death Star, made up of half a billion Lego bricks. On your left of this is the Statue of Liberty in her lovely party dress. She is constructed from 117,000 Lego bricks. That brings our grand total for all of New York City to 8 million Lego bricks. But that's nothing, folks, compared to our grand total for all of Maryland, USA. That, my friends, is 60 million Lego bricks. That's right, folks. Six zero million for all of Miniland. Now coming up on your left hand side is the Mountain of Stone. But folks, don't go taking it for granted. Now do we have anyone on this boat here at Coast Cruise for their first time? Anyone up? Me too. Now for those of you who are first timers here, you may know that as we make our second pass through this Lion's Gate Bridge, we have a little tradition here. On the count of three, we need each and every person in this boat to give their loudest, their fiercest, their most ferocious lion's roar. Ready? One, two, three! Well done, well done, you guys! And we now come to our New England Harbor area. Keep your eyes peeled, folks. You never know what may be happening. Uh-oh, folks, Miniland emergency up ahead. Looks like Gulliver here had a blocked artery. Not sure, though. I think he's going to make it to the party. Good thing all he needs is some plastic surgery. Alright, you guys, at long last, we have arrived at the birthday party. And what better way to celebrate than with our octopus band. We have Oscar the octopus guest starring on the drums. He is made up of 71,000 Lego bricks, along with Ringo Starfish on the clams and Paul McSharkey on the guitar, bringing us to the grand total of 288,000 Lego bricks. Also, folks, just a quick tip. 
Hey, you guys stand right here. If anyone happens to have an Eggo Waffle, I don't know why you would, but if you do, don't go dropping your Eggo Waffle in the sand. Otherwise, then you're gonna have a San Diego. <laughs> All right, my friends, it has been my absolute pleasure being your captain here on this Legoland Coast Cruise. Do you folks know where to take a sick boat? To the dock, and that's where we're headed. So please remain seated, keeping those hands up inside the boat until we come to a full and complete stop at the dock. Once we have done so, feel free to exit to your left, watching your steps, stepping on that seat first, and using those blue handrails.